27 p.m. on the 17th day, 8th month, 2023. And they're about to open another can of whoopers. And they're at their do blessed expresses. And this is Mountain Dan do damn uh, can number two. It's about to be opened up at the Baja Blast. At the Baja Blast, the first one that occurred here around this time stamp here. They're going up right through the Baja here, as you can see. Hey, I'm going to move it along. Hey, the Baja Blast has occurred. There's a big beam right through there. Right? See it? So I'll keep moving this along. As you may have noticed, I got quite a few days up here. I've kind of been watching them manipulating uh, things coming along here. And this is Baja, California, in case you wonder what I'm talking about uh, with the Baja of it all. As I move through the time, you're going to start to see another sweet mold. Uh, this one here came over like over Canada here. Big blessed. And you'll see another one. Blasting you. They have a feeling they're about to trigger the Santa Ana winds. And the Santa Ana winds will have a terrible effect for this area here. If there's ever a stray spark, a power line and from a storm that's super windy, that could cause a terrible fire. It's quite a blast, huh? There's your Baja blast. I believe that has now occurred. I'm going to set that kid to bed. And the kid is extremely, uh, shows pineapples and stuff, and it looks like they're going for the San uh, Fernando Valley. It seems to be the target zone here, as you can see this outline here, and in a point in that here. And hugs up onto the mountain ranges there, see? The, the scalar uh, square right there. And all your time stamps are right over there, and that was on the 15th. You've got this area right there uh, for when that that gets any kind of water and starts to evaporate, you're going to get a lull there. It's going to pull all the winds from uh, the badlands out in the desert and stuff and aim it towards the mountain passes uh, on the San Fernando Valley. See the blast here down in this corner? Not some small fish they're playing with here. They're manipulating very, very big streams of moisture with their directed energy weapons. Uh, that are uh, fueling the grabbing of land, the demise of people, and death. And you see that big one there going across uh, the polar regions of the northern hemisphere. And right across Canada. Imagine your ears were ringing. You might have felt irritated from stuff like this. And this is not good. This is going to fuel winds for your fires. And not good at all. So what I want to do now is kind of show you what's headed your way. Uh, from stuff from up here it's going to come up uh, kind of through here and in and it's the wrap around of the moisture from out here is going to bring some welcome water uh, to Los Angeles but sadly it's way too much all at once and so I'm going to roll this through now and let you guys see kind of what's going on now you have an idea where the beam paths went and there'll need to be some other beams over the next day or so I would be expecting from the local ad localized next red stations to bring this weather plan about and it's going to need one more big beam is going to have to shoot up to here and sweep and so i'm waiting for that one houston will probably be the most likely a subject to do that or something down here there's the big devices in the amazon so i'm going to roll this along who is you see some some big action here coming at across the utah and not through the four corners area of the united states and the Indian nations, as you see the steamer starting to show up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to ride the inside of that beam line. It's going to have a hard time going to the west of that, as which is going to drive it inland. Because, you know, we've seen this swath, right? This big one here. You know, it's going to have a hard time riding outside that lane right here. And the pulse tendency held it off here. Kind of gave it a curve to come in is what I see from reading this beam image and I knew it was two right so there's pretty much your outside line uh, from how that's going to ride uh, pretty much already set in place and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump this along now as it gets right over here towards these, this island over 
the over here there's the vices and, and a lot of studying of weather goes on here and this is called I believe is the Isle de Guadalupe and I'm aware of the, the devices it is on its island so I'll be expecting to see some beam action between that and another island up here called the uh, San Clemente Island which is nicknamed uh, the, a lot of us have given it as Raytheon Island and it's got a lot of devices in it and I some point I could show them to you over the coming days. But this is going to be a moment there that Los Angeles ain't going to like. It's going to put a lot of budding up pressure also against the San Andreas Fault and increase their earthquake risk. During these winds that are going to be occurring, it's going to be kind of high. Give me a while I go to mile per hour for you guys. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, wings. Wings. There we go. Oh, it was already there. Well, oh, ain't you lucky? It is your doldrum. Here's your pocket of wind right here. This is where the Santa Ana kind of has a habit of creating. And usually it'll come through all along in here. Not as much to the far north. It's because of the mountain passes in the Sierra Nevada. You usually it comes through a path through here. And I can see it's already a kicking into place there. And as the fuel from this comes in and creates a low in a spinner and starts actually making a suction here for the pressure to come through the passes there and crush that desert and picks up that hot wind and from those hot days they've been having you guys are going to have big problems I wouldn't want to be here right in this area here uh, where the river is here where it's going to hem everything up because you might be needing El Doctor eh, eh, if you hung around too long in, in the death zone down there where this is going to be very very bad as San Felipe heads up uh, you might want to take action now uh, to prepare your stuff that's low lying or secure stuff in your yard from blowing around. Where are your pets? Where are your animals? Where are your cattle? Where are your goats? Whatever. See the pockets of wind now. These are going to create flows. And these are very dynamic from nothings and but next to each. You got five winds here going faster. Yeah, I knew it was already in the fives. I recognize the colors. So we'll go back over to the wind and thunders and all their rumbles. It's, it's going to come through fairly quickly. Yep. And so this event will be out of the way for their 22, 23 days of burnings. Yeah, I'm very concerned as with numerology heads towards some days that have proven rather devastating at too many places in the world this year. Unusually so on that day. As the storm will go up through Idaho and on up into Canada and gather some of the stuff. And this is a setup for a Lambo King. It is, I'll be expecting a big storm to form in the central United States. Hey, we're going to 23rd here. Who's getting it? Here you go, Houston. There's something coming off the Gulf. By then, the winds will be well in place over here, and there could be some problems. And this is where I just stop agreeing with your map. Now, I want to go over here to Australia. Uh, you guys get some action coming. I'm going to get right to it, and I'm going to pull up some maps, and we're going to look at the Bowmans and the Plowmans and the Ronins for your day. And I'm going to let that roll a minute while I uh, get a sip of my water and uh, check comments. How are you guys doing today? Troll me not and erase all your stuff. Yeah, I know. I got done again today that I'm expecting fallout. Please don't send me unfact checkable stuff. Don't trash my friends' names and ask me to block them in advance. But things, I'm blocking left and right right now. Yeah, I had an incident tonight. I was so angry. I nearly didn't do this forecast for you guys. Why should Los Angeles and those people be less safe because somebody is a numbnut? And these are the dates, man. Here's your 23rd. Did you see the little clobber and you get there on the 21st and 20th? I told you so. You're going to be so wet in New Zealand. The moisture level, even now in the atmosphere, is beyond wet. Yeah, you, you're just on the verge of getting your smack into this. Right? All the seasonings to make the storms is in chemicals or out in the sky. You put salt on your food, you put in chemicals in it. So you buy a technicality. Now, look what you got going on here. And I imagine a... You're going to want to have a have a bit of a break over here from the weather. That's going to be to ka ka ha ha ka ka. Yeah, you're going to have shit weather over there. Takiki. 
They better be where you don't have a tiki show up in the sky because that's going to be a bit of a clabber in which, of course, a little bit of a packet of a high have a little bit of a snowflake over there in the passes to Kaikoura where the roads are probably not even in good condition since the big quake as well. They're too busy spending money on new jets and wine and dining and vagina to give a motherfucker about the one no dude. And while I have a feeling the ancestor turned their faces from this land a long time ago, I'll be looking inward because they're just ashamed of what's going on. Absolutely ashamed. As Captain Cook cooks you time and time again and uses microwaves, your ancestors have turned their backs on you. And it's never a good thing. Look at this little up and around moves to give you give you a little bit of a winter moisting of a of the the Hawks Bay and all that region here. Like they fucking need it. Yeah, the flowers still need some rain, but they never need what happens again. And of course, here we go to fry another fryer island out here, center in the system over itself. Very easy for it to hold it in place with electromagnetic frequency, directed energy from the radar stations. And if it's weapon weaponized like weather warfare then suddenly grabs your house away after the storm, and you think about what the conspiracy guy says, you'll go, fuck, he was right. Of course I was right. I gave a fuck enough that. To put up with your abuse enough to let you know, hey, you got that smacking since I told you about, was it 16 days ago, 15 days ago? It's, it's there. Here she comes with the chem bombs for your street. They don't give a fuck about anything but the wallet that you fell for. Damn, boom, 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 plumes. And you got a fucking store bat ready to smack your asses. It's not going to be pleasant. And here's your totals. Why am I? Uh-oh. Those are your fives. Uh-oh. Those are your threes. Uh-oh. Whoo! Starry, starry nights. You better enjoy what you've got today. Get done what you gotta get done, because they're coming for your buns. Yep. There's some high totals showing, and I go on the tens. It's not a huge after that, but I have a feeling they're lying to you. Lie. Because look at the bands in the traffic still. Most of the moisture in the world is in this area. And most of it's in this direction right here. And again, we get Upper India Cabinet. You get all the beautiful countries you hear. And the Kambams have been back to Bataan. And they got the old Bataan going right up the old Wazoo of the planet. Down here in the, in the breadbasket gemstone regions. Where there's so many resources to be gleaned by our oppressors who want to own everything while well, we own nothing and i guess this would be the decade of happiness for them well let's give them the decade of crappiness and not give what they want no they don't get what they want they got two years of our lockdown and it's a good percentage of a decade as far as i'm concerned 20 percent of it gone some people 25 percent gone uh while they make trillions uh, between themselves and meanwhile there's many inches of water being dumped in me as I'm on this part of the world I'll get to something I'm a bit more familiar with the millimeter range yeah 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 this ain't good this is Thailand beautiful Thailand piece right here this is right here this is uh, Cambodia Ho Chi Minh City getting hard no more no more we are not the system's horse but we damn sure vote for our pimps. And it again has to stop. It's time to pop the pimples. Yeah, the pimple tanks pimping us out. And I'm Penn gets a bit of drive at the poor folks here along the coastline. They, they, they probably ain't seen a vitamin D moment in far too long. And as we go here to the tail of the dog here, it always kind of looks like a dog. Jumping a line. Right? Wait, what's that coming out to? It's a stumpy tail. Hey, that motherfucker getting laid over and laid. Somebody's got to, but these mountains here are copping. It looks like the wind's butted up on that side to draw the crest of mountains. And while you usually see heavier totals that way, radar beams blocking the straight will do that as well. As they aim the moisture towards uh, Indochina. China. Vagina.
it's nice to see 10 day totals like this except i know they're drying you out through here and that's never a good thing so a lot of desert dust is going to be expected to be in the air hey bird got a bit of sagginess coming i believe yours is about right about here so when you start digging your system and then a bit of a wham all comes through hey i wouldn't even want to ever live down here Hey, God, it's always wet and nasty or windy and stuff. It ain't even worth the view out the bus window for me to have to put up with the constant geoengineer and this guy like Siam Jr. down here. They're on the eights. My God, they've been eating the bad shit of fucking geoengineer crap for far too fucking long. Now I'm going to go over here because you got some eminent action here coming along the coastal roads areas. And we'll go over there too. As we have a look at what they're doing. And we'll Pack this right on it. Just get that weather forecast right on in there. Yeah, a bit of action here coming over the mountains over the next 24 hours here as it breaks through over the gaps on the top. You'll see it spread out along the coast a little bit. Just moistening the bruce as the bruce gets moist here up in the corridor. It's about hitting it off to Gimpy at about that time. And it's not too far from now. It's, we're looking about 12 hours from now. As this makes its way offshore, surf shop! Hey, so the Bindside Pipeline, I expect to be have some magnificent conditions. These are absolutely perfect for it. But the meeting of these two fronts here is going to have to be have a cut mode. So Burnt Pine is going to do a mode, which is going to allow this to do a little bit of a curl. That's going to go independent, and then she's going to walk, roll up like a Swiss roll. Boom. And most of the show is being owned by a load down way south. I don't care if some road is closed. But I could work down that closed road. Oh, as that low just hovers there, just draws everything up and in, that tropical strand there that was handed off from burnt pie and stalled up, slings down like a rubber band, bungees right smackaroo down in you, gets wet on the top of the penis insula, and it's fucking on then. Then the dynamics of two sides of the island fighting for the flow happen. Control of the cook straight. If it brings it out here like this is showing, it will be a blessing for you guys. If they hold that up, you'll get a second low form in here, and then you'll get a move like this. And so I'll have to be watching the localized conditions like that, but I'm showing you what I feel to be the most accurate. And you guys should know the move by now. When they got the curler going over the thumb like that, you're going to get an up and in when there's a block here. And so we know there's a block here. You're going to get a bit of an up and in. Yes, yeah, as, as she curls down and then dissipates a big low over it, it's a fucking Friar Island out here. And it's going to cause that typical effect. It's just how that works. I've seen it far too often. And about then, they're going to let it go. Why? Because this has to come over. you got to let that go to get this over because this, this big one here has to move as one. As this high pressure stretches into that, it's going to allow this to creep. Anything? It is going to creep. And it creeps yeah, as it becomes organized. You see how that happened? That's a creeper. This is a very definitive southern diver move. It has to be a very low pressure hound down here to do this. And it's a dangerous line to get caught out in shipping. Okay, so watch yourself. But on the tail end of that's going to bring this curler down to the corner down here. It's going to send EMF blast across the center of that country. It just has to happen to make this weather plan work. They got to do the do, man. They got to do the blast. For your ass. And they're out for your gold, man. They're out for your gold. And what's your gold? Your mind. Your thoughts. Your energy is your gold. Waste it in that. And you dang sure ain't hiding your lies in the skies today. Look at the bombs off of Coffs fucking harbor here. I'm going to turn off some of these names. You really, really get a good look. At this clusterfuck blowing up off the coast over here. Over my animals. Those are mine. You know, protect them like they're mine. And they're not for sale. They are no one's whore. Never to be pimped. Never to have their sunlight blocked. Never should a blowhole of a whale have to believe, breathe a fallout of acid for some kind of fucking gray alien looking cloud. Their blowholes are being toxified. How many carcasses of whales are laying on the bed of this ocean, covered in the silts of our man-made floods, that die from pneumonias and things like we are? Are they dying suddenly, too? Who's going to speak for them? I fucking will. By God, I will not be silent. This is not healthy stuff being sprayed.
you are witnessing an extinction level event done by corporate man. That's quite a difference in dynamics there in 10 minutes, Jim. Yeah? Would you say? It's 20 minutes of clouds. And if it was a contrail on any of these things, they would have dissipated within the first image. One image to the other, they be gone. They're absolutely gone. The fryer is absolutely gone. You see the interference pattern in these clouds right here that just stay in place, causing the winds, churning the mix, mixing the chemicals, causing the sicknesses. EMF, electromagnetic frequency, is directed energy. Whether it's 5G tower, the phone in your hand, the blinking LED light, these things can be controlled post and have been studied post and have been studied for militarized applications. Whether it's being done or not, is evident only in the death and ailments associated with it. And well, the hiding of information or harm by corporations is a par for the fucking course of their golf courses. And I damn sure think a hole in one is a, not a good goal in life. It's not as good a goal in life as the holes in the tops of the whales blowing out toxin-free exhalations. Are they having exosomal exhalations from us? From the fallout of it, stuff from our urine. You can go call it shedding. You know, we take a pee of some stuff that's nano size and goes through filtration systems. It's going to get in the animals. And this really bothers me. All these studies done on stuff. They don't ask the plankton or the tree. Or get a tree core sample and analyze every ring to tell us a timeline of definitive chemical toxicity by the petrochemical industries that are bent down. Profit, what industries do? And what do you do for profit? You silence the competition, you put out the competition, and you don't allow dissenting opinions. You own newspapers, you put the ads in, you hide the harm, and you kill those that put out product that tamper with your profit. It's fact. We should we not think about Tesla and Edison at all ever. Or the battles between Carnegie and the various other millionaires of that time. What a titanic uh, mistake you could make. Well, you know, you want to talk about voting and all this, that's cool. You know, leave me out of that. I don't I think that whole bird's knee shooting right between the eyes of David's a sling that should be never ever be forgotten as a, as a life lesson of the, the simplicity of a solution and the courage it must take right, to face a giant task. And this is monumental task to put down a corporation that will put you down in a minute. Private armies, assassins, and all this. It's all quite real. When you see it in a movie, you go, yeah, that's it. When you see it in every movie like that, that's about that top. Wolf's on Wall Street. Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood couldn't even walk to Grandma's house. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Chemtrail, 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 chemtrail. Toxified skies, EMF lines. Oh, my. Look at the Texas coming your way, New Zealand. Big streamers of God only knows what's in this undisclosed secret program stuff. All we know is what we're picking up and here in soil samples. And while plausible deniability means 500 things we say are the course, but to be able to prove causation these days from corporations that have immunity from prosecution in advance of giving out to predict. If sorry, I can't open up a restaurant with a D health thing and just change the letter on it. At least the restaurant's getting checked. Look at this fucking chemtrail shit going over the ocean. If you don't like my language, you can fuck right in half too. I don't like seeing my people being poisoned. I don't like waveforms going across the Gondwana rainforest and the tears of Gondwana will show up again. Bird, not these trees.
flood not these people. Kill no more my animals with your fucking technologies. Quit asking for your own poisoning. I ain't got a signal. Could you put another tower up? That's your solution for no signal. If you ain't got enough, no signal somewhere, put your chair there. Say, I got one spot of safe. From direct targeting, from the directed energy weapons that so much inundate our lives. Whether it's these great big blasts here going up Baja and they're showing you cans and stuff with burning flames and the cards of Illuminati and Oprah Winfrey on it. Looking just like her. I tell you what, I never more in my life believed there was a conspiracy going on that was well planned and unhidden. They got people to make you look like an idiot. And tell you you're an idiot for telling the truth. I'd rather look like an idiot telling the truth than be a fucking liar. You see the Baja Blast? They're coming for you, Los Angeles. They want the barrio. They stopped, started with the water cutters, power cutoffs to make you want to leave. And now once you have nothing left, you've got to leave. And while I... And for all my, my, my Mexican friends in the barrio. Biden has been there. Donald Trump, cavron. He helped fund these fucking programs too. He helped make sure it got paid for. He did not end chemtrails. He had the power to do all this fucking shit. He didn't do it. Okay, so fuck him too. One wing of a bird. There's a beak that's been picking me dry for 59 fucking years and I've been watching these chemtrails and screaming and hollering and carrying on about this just in my own ease when I could just be looking at my phone screaming for my own poison like everybody else banging my pot and pan for my fucking oppressor. They weren't busy in them hospitals. They had time to learn fucking goddamn can-can dances. Meanwhile, I'm watching athletes dropping dead from heart attacks, we warned would happen. Don't shoot the fucking messenger. Because these messengers have no intention of shooting you. See the waveform coming up through here? Two different directions. One's that way, one's that way, another one's this way. These are directed energy blasts. It's not just cold air moving up. These are blasts of energy. These are radar beams that are being used locally. Yeah, they're really good at uh, hiding the radar beams here, but I can easily show you some. There, there you go. You got the nipple ripples on up here. Straight or You see the heated boundary lines that are set up to control the uh, and put rhythm into the atmosphere, if you will, of the somatic energy of infrasonic undulations, as some may call them. And this is just one hour's feed. Now, this isn't all day. It's short it and here it is. There's a big line going over chinchilla. They need to be chilling on this kind of shit. Because the aroma in the air stinks. First stained skies for you and I. The lightning out to sea. Typical cells going over. Fueled by all that chembams I showed you. Um, this one's got some rotation to it. Going over, back, over, up. That's the rhythm of that radar. And you, that's how I learned them by looking at these like these waveforms coming here. Right through the years, you've learned to read the rhythm uh, of the pulsations in the, of the radars in the storms. Yeah. This is how I do that. Somebody asks, how do you do that? It's rhythm. It's like a chess move of the night, up to over. Wait, I can, I watch this. Jum, 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 boom. And energy will do that. It catches the next curse pattern of an interference waveform coming, which is predictably doing something. So it's doing, doing, then boom, hits that waveform and has a reaction. So it'll be mathematically easily predicted with an algorithm. A computer would definitely be able to calculate at the interference pattern waveform and what it would do. Like that cloud that goes nowhere right here. The waveform's already been in place. It's just been waiting for something to condensate. Some kind of particulate. It to vibrate, ionize, heat up, and, or whatever. It's designed to do the particulate. Because stuff being put in the air is preformed. I 
showed you those words in the Paris Agreement, DNA son, which I'm not going to do right now. Yeah, this is an absolute contamination. Look what's descending like a curtain, a waterfall of toxins over the top of Smallburn over here. Going back in 10 minute jumps. There's a Strato Cruiser over there. An Emmett Project Loon shared fondants. They shared the same doctor in the programs, in the perturbation program, and then used it as the same platform. In case you're curious about that, I don't think that's a skeleton there, but they might have the same result. Ooh, let me say. They wrote yes in the sky for yes. Somebody wrote, they're so happy to be doing it. They got a job. Yeah. Did you have any crazy patterns being flown over here? Because that's got the look. It's a lower level atmospheric deployment. That could be a seeding plane with the Roman candles on it. Fizzing out goddamn chemical catalyst. There's a big explosion there, wasn't it? High habit Adelaide. Boom. Right over the top of your mountains. When the skelly bob looks on with the dagger of death, this is not good. And the demons look at it. They have got skywriting, but what they're writing with the skywriting doesn't look very pleasant to me these days. Very devilish agenda. Oh, you used to see the Baja Blast box? Have you seen it? Baja Blast. Blast. Now, you got to see this. They had 12 pack. I guess that's how many is in it. Now, nah, this is alcoholic. You got to see, sir. This is bothering me. This is bothering the fuck out of me. Absolutely bothering me. Is this box. This box is bothering the fuck out of me. Here, go get it on up here. Okay, we'll do our thing with this. This box is bothering me. Okay, it's this false flag box. And it's I it is bothering me. Oh come on. Alright, I'm gonna do it a different way. It's heavy. Yeah, replace that shit. Now yeah, I got you. Give me a minute. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now I wanna show you what's bothering me about this. So I do want a good image of it. Right, this best is gonna let me have. Oh yeah. Uh, right, this is bothering me. It's bothering the hell out of me. Hey, you got devil horn thing here. You got a shark. From a distance it looks like you see the shark? There's a distance you got this you got all these waves like a storm, like a hurricane things going. You've got an alignment of stars up here. It's kind of Orion looking, but I'm not sure. It could be Pleiades. I ain't sure. What is this? Is that a whale tail? We're gonna have a beach and of a bunch of whales. What's going on with this? This is a storm. And the Baja Blast has occurred. And some of the other cans are showing resources. Yeah, you're going to just go on. I'm going in the rabbit hole now because it's bothering me. This is absolutely bothering me. The Baja Blast cans are bothering me. And when I go out to the non-alcoholic ones, and they get them, it's bothering me. Because it says things about dual wine and all sorts. Directed energy. Is this all the cans? non hard now I went to Baja Blast, uh, yeah, Baja Blast, uh, cans. Now the non-alcoholic ones are even worse. So I, I have them on my uh, Facebook, but I didn't pull them off like this. You know, big wave, Baja Blast, and do directed energy, right? This kid here is also bothering me. The Baja Punch, right? And you get it. Cotola over here holding that stuff. One of them had a clock on it. Absolutely even had a clock. So they're going for the fruit area. Where they grow the fruit over probably in the San Fernando, San Joaquin Valley. But a lot of these things are showing these type stuff. And this cans, it's almost like they're unrolling all the false flag cards. Like this is an Illuminati card type thing, game things. This is for the conspiracy theorists. I go there. This cans bother me as well. Big time bother me. Right, let's see if we can get the uh, yeah, I want a better link than that. Come on. Show me pictures can for these people. Right, I got a clock here. 
I showed a picture to somebody of this early. If I can do a zoom bit. Yeah, you need to do what I want. Go in and look at this. You got two things that are pointed out. This one's got a circle around it by that glint. It's pointed straight at this number 10 over here. And that's a 4. Again, we're boiling out that, that 24 again. And this is just bothering me. It's very skull and bone looking, peeking out of the corner. And this is a 2023 skull and bones here. And why am I saying that? Skull and bones. Why do I say that? Well, because of a very well-known imagery of theirs to just show why it is. It's their number. And they believe a lot of numerology, gematria shows up in a lot of uh, of the workings of people that believe in certain things. And if your leaders believe in certain things, they're going to do certain things. And this looks, again, the pineapple, they're going at it, and you're going to get good gold, man. They're going to make money off something, or is there a gold mine region? Something, something with gold is on this one, and, and gems, and all sorts. Like, you invest over here, you're going to buy a lot of money. Maybe this is Oprah's Wheel of Fortune. Why does it have a triangle on it there, but not over there? See, this is a code, and I haven't quite deciphered it yet. So hopefully with all of our lookings in and discernings, you know, we'll, we'll do some sussings on this and maybe be able to keep people safe enough to say, hey, at Los Angeles, I see a problem for you coming. You're about to get the Baja Blast. Great. I've been thinking this for a few days, and I finally decided to show you that weather forecast about what you're about to get. And what you're about to get is nothing less than unpleasant as we get in towards their, their 21 and 23s, right? They've had their moment. And if the latest number by a day here in there, you know, it, it could be the 22nd by the time it hits. It's so it's not itching some. I'm giving you your big heads up. I can see the EMF line we're going to bring the storm in. Yeah, you see how there's this dude? I have to go to different forecast station. That ain't Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I had too much data loaded. And Sonata and Los Angeles have the Carpentons. Not good, not good at all. And by the time we get to the 23rd, who's got the moment? Who's getting it this day? Who has the big one hitting them that day? China. Russia, Korea, and the death toll will be high. Great, folks. I've shown you the rabbit hole. I've shown you the whole combination of it all. I'm going to shut a couple of these out. And let's say if we can get some cooperation from uh, the Nassholes over here. And let's see if we can catch them with the pants down. They're not expecting this. I have not loaded this all day. I'm going right for you over here. You have nothing to see here, huh? Hello, you. Hello, New Zealand. It sure is nice to see some beautiful clear skies through here. Oh, well, not quite. Bomb, 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 bomb. Again, we have big street line shadow things. You the dingus cloud there ejaculating something. Not quite immaculate. Big lines of crap all through here. Look at the zigzags through this shit. Ziggy, Ziggy Stardust, man. Ziggy Kimdest. It's bizarre, man, how we let them spray the skies. The sunrise pictures featured on the news just make me cry. They sold us all. Sold us vaccine, children. Sold us all bad villains. Sold us all so willing can be bombs. See it now. Look at the different colors of ice crystal refracted light it's making here. It takes different chemicals and layers of the atmosphere to do that. Emanating from a central point. Strato cruisations. Cotola's in the sky. Boom, 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 boom. He says, reminds them of research which led me to Drake's bowling balls in the post dust. 
at which they used to run a lot of symbols. Yeah, you see it on a lot of things. All I'm doing here is looking at chemtrails in the sky. Over the top of the corridors and passages of beautiful creatures. And it's settling out. And every sift of water they take to eat or oxygenate their bodies through their gills is having that. And that's not the rubber ducky right there. That's the fuck up guppy. It's the one. Very disgusting skies. You think that's a naturally occurring cloud formation? Then your brain leaked out your ears a long time ago and became the brown stain on the pillow. That wasn't drool. That was your brain. Come on, critical thinkers. Scoop it up again. See what's here in your sky? Chemical catalyst. Fuel the electric universe around this. In a way they want. Changing the conductivity of the skies. And over here at the lake's entrance, it's got chembams at its entrance. See it? It's obvious. It's not all done with jet planes. And matter of fact, less and less is being done with that. Every day they do it less and less. The cam bands are coming. Will you pass the test? Uh, uh. A natural selection is not the best. And Bill Gates says, too many of us are here, so we need to go to rest. Rest, 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 yes. You know, I think the system blows. I see the cam bands falling out. You know, oh, yes. I'm going to pass the test from here to there. Take it up by rest. Oh, let's all say no, no. And my planet loves me. Oh, and I love the planet. Oh, can be bam, 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 bam. Look at this shit here. This year he's going to get it in the 24th according to the kids. Ooh. Streamers of death, the eyes of the Martians in the skies, Chris Crescent over here is there getting jolly and we're getting Roger. What a fucking shame. Shame, shame, shame. How can people who are shameless have any shame? You have to have empathy to have any kind of shame. And this is a great barrier reef, man. Totally blasted out. And they don't want you to see it with the brush strokes here. That they've absolutely combined this all the fuck in different color ice crystals of memory crack. And this could be acid that when it settles out, it burns the reef out and turns it white. And they'll say, hey, it's been bleached. No, it hasn't. It had an acid chemical attack by the petrochemical industry that's been on owning you and selling its product to you. And as we go out here in the middle of the sea, you see the cloud brightening going. And it's a very obvious deployment. Ship trails, whether well, we're done with ships, sounding rockets, or... The plane itself did that mili military exercising. Well, I think their exercises blows sometimes. When they're fucking firing up Eugene here. Here they go again. Santa Ana winds had any of this to fuck. Look how full the valleys are of smoke. That's what those lines will be, the main valleys. That ain't good for the crabs that you grow in valleys, right? So the smoke is killing all that. Might as well it's getting pulled up in the leaves over here. It's smoking and smoking, that's for sure. Freedom for Wallace, Kellogg's. Bird in different direction of the wind, plumes all going every which way. My God. Look what they're doing. Just the day before, wasn't quite as much smoke over there. Yeah, can you burn anything more exactly along the line of a country? But well, here's the country line right there. Oh man, we're coming for you, Cali in Oregon. Oh, you poor folks. The fryer is at. They're not being very good girls and boys when they're playing with their toys these days. When your toys destroy, it's time to take your toys away and never get them back. I can't look another minute. I am not the systems whore. And all of us will stand up and say that. No more. No more. We are net to systems whore. Big love. Peace.